the children and how they're brainwashed. By yeah, their well, uh, no, we were saying that um, the reason we, we think that why the supporters do they believe that? Yes, they believe, actually they, believe. they believe it and, and afraid at the same time. They're afraid because they know he, he's been torturing uh, families and he's the killer of his family the father from yeah. before him. Uh, so for 40, 45 years, this leader. the children that we have, the new generation in Syria. We have about 80% are between 20 and 35 years old. 80% of the population in Syria right now. It's very important that democracy will win in Syria. It's important to the whole Middle East. The whole Middle East is watching Syria right now. It's more important than Libya, more important than Yemen, more important than Tunisia, more important than Egypt, believe it or not. The strategic location of Syria. That's number one. The second is because of this dictatorship that he lived for 45 years and he's been, he's been still going on till this moment. It's important that we get rid of that criminal because if we don't, that means the whole Arab Spring is gone. We need this to win. As soon as possible, we need help from the United Nations. We need help from Europe. We need help from the United States. We need all kind of help from the whole world. Well, Russia and China cannot just support Syrian government right now because it's destroying the dream of being democratic country in the Middle East. The whole democratic dream in the whole Middle East, not only Syria, is being destroyed by supporting the Syrian regime. What do you think of Hillary Clinton's uh, recent meeting with the G8 leaders and saying Assad has to go? She's saying that I thank her, we all thank her, we appreciate her concern, but we need actions. We can't just listen and hear people feeling sorry for our Syrian people over there. That's not enough. We what need actions action. would you like her to take? Okay, the actions that we would all like her to take is to support the Free, the free Syrian Army. Supporting them if it's not financially intelligent you know because we know intelligence yes yes definitely we need we don't want you to bomb Syria we are definitely against that we're against sanctions we are not like Libya 
you need to understand the population in Syria it's much more greater and the culture is much more richer than any other culture in the Middle East we have thousands of years of cultures mixed all blended together we are different we're totally different and it's a small country. It's not as big as Libya or Egypt. But at the same time, we all live and blend together for thousands of years. This regime is taking advantage of this unity and trying to destroy it. And we don't want this. We want you to help us. The help is by either uh, uh, telling Turkey to support the Free Syrian Army. That's one solution. Uh, by uh, probably uh, talking to the Arab League and see if they can all unite to really get rid of Assad for good. The whole family has to go away. It's not only Bashar. It's his whole family is criminal. And they all have one goal, is to stay in power. And they don't care how many people they can kill. They can kill us all. And we are 80% Sunni. And they are only 10% from the population. They want, they don't care. It's li live or die. They are taking it till the end, till the last drop of their blood. And if you want to see more criminals every day, look. They are 13,000 counted dead, but 60,000 disappeared in Syria so far for the last 13 months. Do you think that Assad is going to stop? Look, Anan gave him a limit and an end to stop. And he did not do a thing. He didn't care about Anan. He didn't care about United Nations. He doesn't care about the whole world. If he cared about his own people, he would stop long time ago, 13 months ago. Not now. Not in one week. And he didn't stop either. Does supporting the Free Syrian Army include sending arms to them or are Western nations allowing other countries to send arms to them? Syrians, the Free Syrian Army does not care. They need the help, the, as much help as they can get. The reason why, because the Free Syrian Army is weak, is much weaker. We know that and they know that. And uh, Syrian government, the regime, is basically is getting help from Iran and Russia and we know it for a fact. Right now who is controlling the Syrian government and all the leaders are the Iranians and the Russians. They're not the current regime. Bashar Assad maybe has no idea what's going on right now, but he's destroying his country. Definitely we're going into a disaster if we didn't already. To the Assad regime, if uh, Iran and Russia and China uh, yeah, are supporting him um, militarily, um, is there is there a way that they can can stand up to him um, with that kind of backing? Uh, you mean Russia and, and Iran? Yeah. If Assad there, has there, their backing, the, the what, what chance does the British Syrian army have? Okay, they have no chance. If, uh, this is that's what I'm saying. The Free Syrian Army, their job is to protect the Syrian people, our own people. They are the Free Syrian Army are part of of uh, the, the army of the Assad uh, army originally, but they did not agree. They did not like what the Assad was doing to his own people. So they separated and they created their own peaceful army. It's called the Free Syrian Army, and the Free Syrian Army, their job is to protect the people of Syria not to kill like he's doing right so that's hey, I have a question that I don't think has been asked yet is there a possibility that uh, countries like Saudi Arabia United States could block the arms going into Syria of course and we want actually the Arab countries like Saudi Arabia Kuwait United Arab Emirates right now are pressuring the Syrian citizens who are living in United Arab Emirates they're not giving they're not re renewing their visas they're firing them from their jobs and and they're deploying them back to Syria and if they go into a demonstration they are deploying them back to Syria and that's terrible because they can get killed and they know they're gonna get killed hey, what what I mean block arms I'm talking about blocking Iran and Russia from getting more arms to they can't the because um, because uh, the so United States might might or Europe might, but not not Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or or Qatar. Be uh, you know they can probably pressure with the oil, you know, 
but I don't think politically, politically, you know, with 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 all this, that the Arab countries can pressure Russia or Iran. Iran is very strong, and that's one of the problems why United States is not interfering with the Syrian situation right now, because they are looking into also having a war against Iran, not against Syria, because really Iran is supporting this, the current Syrian government 100% as well, and the reason why they know that they are next, and the Iranians also, not only they know that they are next, they are supporting Assad because they think they want the Shia religion to be spread all over the Middle East. And they already planned and they already have that in Iraq and, the, and in Lebanon. So the only thing left is Syria because it's between those two countries. So their plan is way, way ahead of us. They're planning for something more, for a Shia country to be spread all over the Middle East. And we already know it. And that's why Saudi Arabia is supporting us, the Sunni, because they know this is a war against Sunni. It's, it's definitely against Sunni. Definitely. So it's, it's more, it's not only about politics, it's about religions as well. Um, were you at the protests at the White House? Yes, of course. How did you feel about the Iranian people coming to support you guys? I thought that was just incredible. Of course, they, uh, those are the Iranian people that you saw. They're, of course, they're against their government. That's what I'm saying. The Iranian government is is the one who is supporting the Syrian regime, not the Iranian people. The Iranian people are fed up with their regime, just like us. And they are with us 100%. We know that the Iranian people want to do what we're doing, and they're feeling sorry for us. But there is nothing they can do because their government is as bad as Assad or maybe worse. I mean, the other day they hanged uh, a guy who was uh, very active just because he was on a, I think uh, uh, it was on Facebook or something in Iran just because he was an activist. I mean, they hanged him. That's how bad. Yeah, for being an activist. I mean, we live in the 21st century. We don't live in the Jesus time. <laughs> right? Certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> We're <dead. laughs>